today. So I apologize for this setup. I really, really dislike it. But today I'm doing my straight to, I mean, curly to straight hair care routine because I start school tomorrow and also I have surgery tomorrow and I can't get my eyes wet and having naturally curly hair you kind of have to maintain it and if I don't brush it in a week because to brush it I have like conditioner and I have to wet it and I know if I wet my hair I'm gonna possibly get my eyes wet so to maintain curly hair it's hard um so I'm just gonna and I'm gonna be on like I'm not gonna be on bed rest but I probably won't be able to see so I'm just gonna straighten it now so I won't have to worry about it whenever I'm handling that so um here is my hair now it's been air drying for about i want to say like three hours i washed it this morning i used um this shampoo which is called shea butter coconut and hibiscus curly shampoo i don't know the name of it but here's a little close-up of it and then also i just used my regular osmoise conditioner love that stuff and make sure if you're using conditioner that you're going to rinse out your uh, all of it don't rinse out every single bit of it because your hair can be really stringy if you don't so now um, my hair is pretty much air dried. It's a little wet still because it was in the bun and it just takes forever to dry. So now I have my blow dryer here. This is a Layla, Layla, Layla Ali um, little blow dryer. I believe it doesn't matter what kind of blow dryer it has. As long as it has a little comb because this is going to comb through your hair. Or you can just use, I have three little brushes over here. You can use a brush to comb through it. So I'm probably going to use a mixture of both because this comb actually doesn't fit on it so it's probably gonna fall off or break because so I have really thick hair so starting off I'm gonna separate my hair I'm gonna do it like this I actually need more hair ties so I'll be right back so I'm gonna separate my hair I think what I normally do I'm just gonna do four sections so oh it's so tangly I brushed it out in the shower but my hair gets tangly really fast which is why I like doing a brush because if you just kind of blow your hair your hair is gonna get either it's gonna stay tangly or it's going to get tangly so I don't want any of those, so just gonna do a little space button. Now for my last section, I think I'm actually just gonna leave these both down. But for uh, heat protection, I'm taking this Tresemme heat tamer, protects against heat damage. Leave-in spray. I don't know. This stuff is good, so I'm just gonna spray that throughout my hair. The last time I straightened my hair was like a month ago, a little over a month, so I don't want to damage my hair. I like straightening it once a month, so now I'm going to go in with a wide tooth comb and just take out all these tangles. Okay, so now I have a lot of hair down, so I'm going to take another section. I like sectioning my hair a whole lot. I wish I had like more of a wider space, but I wanted to film on the floor. If you guys didn't know, I mean, it looks kind of obvious, but I'm filming on the floor right now. So I can reach everything, because I normally do my hair on my desk, but the lighting there isn't the best. Okay, so now I have this much hair on either side. It should be completely tangle-free. I'm going to comb through it with, with this little comb just to make sure it's tangle-free. And this is why I like using a brush because basically, if you can tell, I'm wearing a black shirt. That was a stupid idea. I'm going to change it after I'm done talking. But um, my hair is basically straight. It's just a little bit frizzy. It's really, really straight now. So that is my trick. You always want to use a brush because whenever you're done, it's going to make the straightening process a lot easier for you. Okay. I have this mirror here, but it's literally pointless. Now I can, y'all can see my hair a little bit. I need to zoom out, but if you do, you can see my room. <sighs> It's okay. It's okay. I didn't take a before picture. Okay, I gotta take a before picture. I'm stupid. Okay, the 
think it's pretty much done. So now what I do, my hair's gonna be super tangly. I know it is, it just is like that, but I'm gonna separate from my hair. So now we're gonna split this hair into two and um, again I like using this little comb to comb up my hair to make sure every little tiny knot is out of my hair it really is good for that and then what I normally do I think this is called a tracer I'm not sure about my curling iron and my straightener so my straightener has been heating up for like a couple of minutes and what I do is I just basically put it underneath so it comes out any like a any tangles and then I put my straightener right on top and I just straighten my hair and you can see the smoke coming but as long as you're not burning your hair it should be fine one pass through and my hair is literally bone straight and that is because I used heat protectant and a little bit of oil as well as um, blow dried it with the comb that's the main the hugest hugest the main reason why it was just one pass and so I did the same thing throughout my whole hair you guys will see I'm gonna try and time lapse it in my time before I started doing my hair but it is now currently done it was probably about 250 because today's the day of the solar eclipse and I wasn't here actually it was probably three so I'm gonna see what time it is I'll actually have it right here oh it's currently 4 30 it wasn't bad I'm currently done my hair I don't think I washed out everything because in the center it feels really weird and like stiff like it has hairspray in there but it's not hairspray it might be my heat protectant but it's making my fingers feel really weird too which sucks but it is all done. Um, after I'm done straightening my hair, let me fix this for you because I'm just playing with it. But if I was looking down, I was watching TV, and if I was looking here, it's because I was looking in the mirror. But um, I don't do too many pass-throughs because I want my hair to be as healthy as possible. So I don't like doing that. And also, uh, I wrap it at nighttime so it'll be super straight the next morning. So let me show you guys what it looks like right now as time goes. So... What it looks like my ends look still really good i got my ends cut in june and they still look really nice on me so yeah so yeah that is my hair um it's not the best right now like it's not doing what i want it to which is really annoying that it only happens like haps it only happens like four day five day hair but literally on the first day i don't know what's wrong it just feels nasty so hopefully wrapping it and brushing it out and everything will help with that but that is my hair all done and complete. I hope this video helped you guys if you guys also have curly hair and you are never able to achieve straight hair. Also, I didn't mention my straightener that I use. This is just a straightener. I think it's in like TJ Maxx. Uh, my mom actually has a straightener she got from Amazon, so I'll try and link that down below because she said she loves it. This brand is called the Hair Rage Styling Tools. So I'm not sure where you can find it. It's probably from TJ Maxx or Marshalls. It's really nice. It's my hair really straight, but I also linked the one that my mom said she loves, which does like the same thing to her hair um, down below from Amazon but yeah that's it for my hair care routine curly to straight don't really do much that's all I do so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next one bye I can't even lie you got me falling even when I try it again keep calling while we in the club while I'm always balling trying to be in love we don't fall too often it's hard to fall but
what you got.